Hello friends! We're here feeding some worms. It's also apparently feeding times for the puppies, but really only because I'm here, I'm pretty sure. But it's been about a week, as per usual, and we gotta feed the worms. And there's a lot I want to talk to you guys about. But I thought I'd show you guys the armings in progress agitating the worms in this top tier one that is migrating. It has been moving along. Uh, the tricky part I'm finding is there isn't a lot of sunlight right now because there's a lot of cloud coverage. So what I've been doing is, as you know, as I see them, I try and pull a few up and just toss them in the layer below. What I am seeing though is there are still quite a few eggs in here, so I've been trying to pick them out as I see them because I always inadvertently miss them so i've been trying to pull the eggs out as well and toss them down below uh so that tells me you know they're happy to reproduce and they're doing good uh i just i don't want the eggs to get lost outside i'm sure i'll miss some of them but i don't want to have to miss all of them so for the purposes of our video and for moving things around fairly easy i am going to just put the cover back on them for now uh, just so we can move things around but it's drying out a little bit which is nice and uh, I think we are seeing some progress with the worms in the vein so we'll take top two tiers off for now put them on the floor as per usual and then we're going to take off this tier and we're going to check on our bottom of section or tier which I realize you guys can't see it, but now you can. And just because we haven't checked in a little while, fairly unremarkable, no juices or anything down there. So tier two, if you guys recall, uh, was fed last week just a half baggie of food, uh, frozen food specifically. And this is the tier that there's no added coconut core. So it's all paper, cardboard, that type of stuff in here, uh, paper towels. So, there's also not a tremendous number of worms. I'll bring you guys in to see. There's not, like I put a couple scoopfuls in when we started, but I'm hoping they'll migrate down here on their own. But it's starting to look pretty good. We got a decent grouping over here. So, with this being a week that we try, or a week of feeding that we're gonna follow. Nope, that doesn't make sense either. Last week we, oh yeah, this is the apple we put in a couple weeks ago. They're still finishing that off. Uh, okay, so last week when we fed all of the tears, they weren't fed in their normal toilet paper rolls. So we used like hummus containers and random things like that. So this week I figured I would continue that uh, in an effort to try to keep my freezer space a little bit lower but also I'm assuming there's still food and whatnot in here that they want to be finishing off so I figured I'll put some high priority food that we know they love which in this case is watermelon rinds which have been frozen and slightly defrosted so we're gonna just but they're very juicy so I am gonna be using a reasonable amount I think in each layer I don't know I say that but my plan is, so this one is a pretty good tier because it already has a lot of paper in it, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but I went to Sprouts the other day and I had everything put in paper bags, and so I got a lot of paper bags that I shredded up here, and it says it's recycled paper that made the bag, so I guess this will make it the second, third time the paper, second time the paper was recycled, so that's good. I'll try to help when I can. So, I'm not gonna really worry about that tier too much. Now tier four. This one I've been, I, I had on my mind recently. And it's tricky because, okay, well here, I'll show you guys. So, it has obviously got a lot of room left where we can keep putting food in here. They finished off all of their bedding that it started with in the sense of like the paper products and whatnot uh so what do we do if because i don't really want to start starving another tier uh right now 
So I think I'm gonna kind of give this bed a refresh in the sense that we're gonna feed it and we're gonna also give it a lot more paper bedding to help um, give them some food and some bedding. Um, Cause there's plenty of worms in here. They're doing great. Um, seeing a lot of worms, I'm trying to be gentle, but you know, we wanna dig. But this feels really nice, but I think we can keep filling it and um, feeding them. Cause while they're so productive, I just, I don't wanna slow down the, it's not like they're completely full in here either. So I wanna try pushing this a little bit longer. This tier, I just went back and looked at my notes is also coming up on finishing up its three month cycle. So I'm not saying it's done, but it's, I mean, theoretically it could be if we wanted it to be. So we're gonna also give them some watermelon in a similar area to where we fed them last week, as noted by the paper towels. But, hey Wally, can keeping in mind that this is watermelon and there's a lot of liquid in here and there's not a lot of like the usual bedding. What I'm gonna do is I'd like to give them some bedding. Oops, it's Wally. Okay. Give them some bedding. So that A, it'll help keep the moisture under control uh, between the watermelon that we put in this layer and then the watermelon that we're going to feed the layer above it. But it'll also just give them some food and I don't want it to get too wet in here. So I think this will help counter it. I hope. I hope. <laughs> Alright, so let me move. Our next one is going to be tier 3. And this is the one I've been throwing the worms in from tier one as we've been stirring them up and hoping they get irritated enough to migrate down. So they're hopefully going into this tier. And I'm just going back at my notes here. So this tier three was started uh, mid-February. So it's just past its three month marker by a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. So, Let's take a look and see how these guys are doing. I didn't see any food in tier four from last week, uh, which is surprising, but also pretty great. So I'm hoping we're seeing similar results over here. Trying to be gentle. We can see where they are. They're congregated here. I don't really see any food though, besides the avocado shell. So they finished all of that food off, which is incredible. So keeping in mind that this layer is popping and there are a lot of worms in here. And we're also trying to entice the worms from the tier above to come down. I am going to put a arguably too much. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm still figuring out what's a larger dose of food, but I have this whole sandwich baggie of semi-defrosted frozen watermelon. And I'm gonna eat them all of it. Because one, there's a lot of worms in here, and two, we're trying to entice the other worms to come down. So I'm hoping if they can get a sense of the sugary sweetness, which is watermelon rinds, that they will feel compelled to join this tier. Like I'm recruiting for the Empire here or something. Um, but in an effort for bug prevention, we're putting lots of paper towels down. And I'm also going to go ahead and put just a heaping handful of regular bedding in for the same reasons as the other tier. I don't want them to run out of food or places to, I don't know, roam around. So they're gonna get some nice cushy spots right there. And hopefully I don't have any moisture that the frozen watermelon is producing in this tier. And that brings us to back to our starting tier, which I am going to put. Oops, let's get this little thing out of here. Okay, go back here. And before I Go back in there. I just want to show you guys 
if you're worried about the mess of me putting this on the floor. This week's mess is pretty manageable. Nothing crazy. Uh, nothing <laughs> worse than what the dogs are going to do. So if you're a renter, you're worried, I got you. There's nothing to be concerned about here, or at least not with that. So we're going to go back into our tier one here, which is starving. And um, yeah, I think that's about it for today, guys. We are going to continue to leave this open. I think it's helping. So that's great and like I said I'm just gonna keep trying to pull eggs out and worms out as I see them and move them down a tier but I'm expecting since the worms have finished off the food last week that we gave them which was a lot if you remember it was a hummus container and like a Tupperware container full of frozen food which is great it means they're consuming more food and I can feed them more um, I'm hoping we can come up with a better, I don't wanna say system, but like a better gauge of how much, because right now, the, besides like the toilet paper rolls, I think a sandwich baggie is pretty much how we're gonna start measuring things, or like maybe the hummus container, I don't know. So if you have suggestions for container sizes, the next bracket up besides toilet paper rolls, let me know, because uh, I think we're, we're at that point. So a lot of new things happening and uh good things good growing population problems to have but that means new things to learn about so thanks for sticking around and for your suggestions all right see you next week